Earlier this month, I hiked the Buffoonville Lake Trail in Oxford, Massachusetts. Although the trail app I use led me to originally believe it was in Charlton, which led to some confusion on the road trip there. I think I've gone way too far on this road. So now I'm no longer in Charlton. Maybe it turns back into Charleston. Oh great, now I'm in Thompson. But I don't know if it's in Charleston or Charlton. Is that Oxford? I finally located the Buffoonville Park, and the trailhead parking area was across the street. I refreshed and hit the trail. I am refreshed. I used the facilities, I got my hiking shoes on, and I calmed myself a little bit. Up ahead, I met James, a Boy Scout from a troop in Thompson, who was working on his Eagle Scout project. We're building a, uh, we built a staircase over over there because it was really rocky and people were slipping. And then here we did some relocating where the roots were really bad. Okay. And then other places where the roots aren't too bad, we're putting rocks over. Okay. Um, so it so people so it's easier for people to walk. I thank James and his crew for their time and effort maintaining the trail and was on my way. The trail opened to a section that offered a full view of the lake before it turned quickly back into forest. This is interesting. Right here, all of the pine trees, they're all, there's no growth on the bottom of them. And it's pretty dense in there, but it's just no green. It's just dead, dead pines. This is interesting. I always wonder, I see those structures where they lean branches up in the teepee formation. And uh, I'm not sure that if it's, it, provided, it provided shelter at one point for someone or if it's just something people do, like those stone structures. The blue blaze you can see on this tree is pointing for me. Do you see the arrow there? It's pointing for me to go down that way and keep the loop along the water. However, the trail continues through the forest with a red and white blaze. I figured out from the trail map that the white and red blazes mark the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers project boundary. From what I could tell, the two trails ran parallel for much of the hike. All right, I think I might have gone off trail a bit here. Or it's just not a... Oh, these things are interesting that are growing here along the, the river, the, the bank. I don't know what these, these are, but they're, they're very interesting. Okay, I studied the vegetation a bit longer before venturing on. So there's some interesting shelter on that side of this little brook that's running. My curiosity led me to cross the brook to get a closer look at the shelter. Ugh. Spider webs. Okay, I'm going inside. This has been here for quite some time. I like the little tire window. Yeah. Looks kind of cool. I admired the sturdy construction before grabbing a snack and venturing off. It looks like there's some old trucks, some old abandoned trucks and stuff. The old body to a truck. Oh, that mail truck is really cool. It just looks like somebody just brought this here one day and it just parked. These look like they might have been like old town trucks. I mean, that's definitely an old, an old town truck. It's kind of like a a highway department graveyard. Exploring the graveyard was the highlight of the hike. I don't know why, but I find stuff like that fascinating. It captures a point in time. I imagine the last day it was brought here to rest. What's its story? How did it end up here? I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but I think stuff like that's cool. The trail forms a seven and a half mile loop, but it's divided roughly in the middle by a main road. 
I hiked only the south section, so I had to walk a short distance on the road to reach the parking area. I had had enough exploring for one day. I'd almost be tempted to sit on it if I wasn't in... Ah! <laughs> that was a crane. It may have been a blue heron, I'm not certain, but whatever it was, it scared the crap out of me. That scared me. Oh, sorry. I think I scared him too. Boy, I sounded like my mother back there. Oh, I guess we do inherit from our mothers. Just kidding, Mom, I love you.